Carmen by myself. Hi, D. Hi, everybody. Thanks for joining. See, the crazy thing is, the very much so crazy thing is, I'm actually on time for my second on time in Trance, okay? Terrence is supposed to be here with me. Change the banner and everything. That's why I had to be a little bit late because I had to fix the visuals. Hi, Will. Hi, Miss Class. Hi, everybody. Hi, Seb. Hey, everybody. Thanks for coming. Okay. Why do I hear myself? Okay, I need to turn myself down a little bit. Anyway, so today, it's very much so today, we are once again revisiting the Diane von Furstenberg wrap dress, okay? We had the original one that I made behind me, okay? This is a Visco Shally behind me, which is a woven fabric. It's a forgiving woven. It has a little bit of stretch to it, but not really. Um, but today, we are transitioning to... Minerva. So we got this fabric from Minerva.com. Definitely check them out. The link to the uh, fabric is in my uh, description. And um, today we are actually going to use a knit. So we tried it in a woven. We are back. Hi, Marjorie. We are back to revisit it in this gorgeous viscose jersey. Okay. So it has, it's a two-way stretch. It's not a four-way stretch. Hold on. One, well, it has a little bit of stretch on both sides, but one has, of course, more stretch than the other, okay? Yeah, it has stretch on both sides, but I wouldn't consider it like a spandex or a... Look who's here. Look who's arrived. Look who's finally arrived, y'all. Look who decided to come to the party. Look who decided to come to the party. Here he go. Here he go. The, the madame. The madame. Welcoming the person of the hour. Look at here. Look at what... Look at what we have here. All right, Terrence. So, Lord. Let me fix this layout. There we go. Hello, Terrence. How are you? Good. How are you? I didn't know how to connect it to my YouTube. So, did, did you figure it out? No, it's okay, though. Okay. Well, maybe we should have practiced it. Okay. Sorry. So Terrence, welcome. Are you ready? <laughs> Do you want to you want to try to figure it out? Um, no, it's okay. You'll just have to tell me. Well, I guess I can pull it up on my iPad so I can see the commentary. Okay, you can't see the comments. Like you, if you click on the comments tab. No, I don't have. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Do you see all the comments now? Yeah. Okay, this is well, Terrence's first time. Is this your first time using StreamYard? It is. It okay, is. all right. Well, next time we'll practice in advance on how to connect it to your YouTube. My apologies. I no, you're, you're fine. Okay. I thought it was straightforward. D said hello. Yes, hey, hello, Pamela. Hey, Tammy. Hey, everybody. <laughs> your best friend, yes. If that's what you want to call it today, when he's not uh, here. Yeah. All right, so Terrence. We made this the other day in the Visco Chalet. Okay. Yes. Our back with round two of Vogue 2000. I don't know about you, Carmen, but I'm really excited to make this pattern because this is such an iconic. <laughs> this is such an iconic pattern. I'm getting a take too seriously. No, let's, let's, let's be honest and transparent. This is an iconic I mean, keep it cute. This but let's talk about round one. Let's talk about round one for a second. Okay, so we made this on Sunday out of the Visco Chalet. I mean, of course, you know, keep it cute. Like, what are your thoughts on the pattern in general? And what are the adjustments you plan on make based upon your previous experience? So here's the thing. I think this pattern is great if you are the type of person who loves a wrap dress style I think this dress, I love that it comes in a bunch of different versions. So it comes in a short and a long version and you can make little tweaks. So you can do the collar, you cannot do the collar. I think this dress is great for work. So if you are the working woman or working person, I think this is very work appropriate. Yeah. Um, also a really versatile dress where if you want to go out for cocktails with the girls or the boys after, it's a great dress that transitions. Um, so that's what I really like about it. I like that you can do it in a knit or a woven. So it gives lots of options and lots of variations. So although my particular style isn't necessarily a wrap dress style, I do appreciate 
the dress. And I'm excited for this round because I feel like both of us are going to do some hacks to it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and so mm-hmm. I'm going to do some hacks to make it more fit for me and my yeah. size, what I like. Yeah. But overall, I think this dress um, is just an iconic a staple to have in your closet. Again, you can dress it up, dress it down. So many different fabric variations and options that you can use to make it. Um, it's just an iconic dress. Yeah, it, it is. It is very much so. We'll talk about the hacks in a second. So thank you everyone again that just joined us today. We are making the Diane von Furstenberg Vogue pattern release of the original Vogue vintage pattern. Okay, I'm making it with Terrence. This is our second go round and making it. So thank you all for being here on a, what night is it? It is a Tuesday night. Yes, this is my normal night. So I appreciate everybody for being here. Shout out to everyone that just came in the room. Diane, I just shipped out your shirt. Thank you so much for your BSN merch order. I can't wait for you to get it. Hello, Shamir. Hello, Will. And everybody else that recently joined it. All right. So let's talk about the hack. So first time around, I made the maxi version. I did not use a collar, but I did include the cuffs. The difference this time is I am taking it up 10 inches from this version. So I am taking it all the way up to make it into a mini. So I tacked off about, I had off, yeah, about 10 and a half inches. Hopefully, you know, my booty cheeks ain't out. I am going to do the collar this time. I didn't do the collar last time. And I'm keeping the, the cuffs as well. I like that element. Um, another thing that I did was I bought this buttonhole kit from Amazon um, so that I, this, I think that is like a signature uh, sort of accent to vintage patterns is doing a button coat, coat cover. So originally at, 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 um, at Joanne, this thing was like $50. Okay, it wasn't $50, but it was expensive. So I got all these buttons. I got a hundred different buttons of different sizes from Amazon for about 13 bucks. So you can grab that too. Hey T. Um, so yeah, I'm doing cover buttons for this as well. So yeah, mini skirt, collar, cuff, skank. Go, Terrence. What is your changes? So I'm going to do the long version and the the changes that I'm making are I'm going to do it sleeveless because I love uh, an arm moment. I'm also not going to do casing uh, or the um, what's the, the, the facing. The facing. I'm not doing the facing. I'm just going to do a regular kind of like rolled hem. Uh, that's about it. That's about oh, so it. you're keeping it super easy. Okay, that's you'll be done before before you know it. Shoot, I'll be on here throwing by myself. So we'll see you what happens. What? <laughs> <laughs> someone said someone asked did you find your uh your facing piece i did not no okay that's okay because what did you do what did you end up doing um i hacked it i made the facing piece uh, myself so was, was it difficult no it actually was not no, no oh he's keeping it cute from youtube y'all okay <laughs> Thank I, you, I, got, I got yelled at yesterday so we're keeping it cute today. Okay. Okay. All right. So first things first, is anybody else in? Hi, Auntie Carrie. Hi, everybody on Facebook. If you're on Facebook, if you wouldn't mind coming to YouTube, if you don't mind, if not, you know, you can stay in Facebook, but you'll probably be over there by yourself. All right. So the first things first is we, I did not do any of my darts yet. Unlike the other day. So the first things first, we're going to start off with the front pattern piece. This does have two bust darts and it has two back darts and a pleat. So I'm just going to quickly throw in my uh, my bust darts in a second. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you everybody for being here. Is anybody else sewing tonight? Is anybody else in the house tonight? Stand up! <laughs> So Terrence, like, all right, so, okay. So what is your hope that you get out of this situation, this, this, this go around? What is your, what is your hope in your prayer? I Sierra's prayer um, for this dress. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what fabric did you use? I already shared my fabric. What fabric are you using? I am using this dark blue. Kind of like a crinkle rayon. It's really flowy. 
and loose. I think it'll be really pretty. Um, where, where'd you get it from? I cannot tell you. I have so much dead stock um, that comes from all over the all over the place. I'm not sure where I got this, but I believe it might have been from Joanne's um, the, on the clearance rack. But I am not sure, unfortunately. Okay, y'all. So sorry, Terrence. I don't know where he got his fabric from. <laughs> sorry, y'all. Oh yeah, it's a pretty blue. I'm hoping. And you know what, Terrence? Like after all was said and done, your uh your first one came out super pretty. The pictures were super cute. You know what? Um, I think the pictures came out. <laughs> Really nice. I'll show y'all. I'll give y'all a sneak peek of the pictures. Maybe one or two, not all. But I think they came out really, the pictures came out really pretty. So, oh, look at that. Hmm. This is one. Very nice. Very nice. This is one. And then I'll show you another because I'm generous. Oh, aren't you the gener the benevolent king? We love it. And then this is another. Oh, oh, look at that. Look at that. Wow. Yes, yes. So those will be posted on Minerva today. If you're not following me on the Minerva website, please make sure you're following and make sure you're following Carmen also. Um, yeah, to see the full photo spread. Oh, okay. Yeah. Shout out to Minerva again. Are, do they have a YouTube page? I don't think they're on YouTube. Yes, you know, yes, they do. They do tutorials and stuff. They do. They do. They are all over. Listen, Minerva is, is it like one of your top three brands to work with? Minerva has quickly become one of my favorite brands to work with. <laughs> uh, just because they are so kind. Um they are really flexible with their terms and the posting schedule and with their requirements. They are very responsive. And I think their program is fair. So what they offer, they expect, really aligns. And it just makes sense. I think giving us two months to post very, very generous. I have worked with brands that they send you product and they want turnaround in 24 hours. And so the fact that we have so much time is really beautiful. And we love Gavin and Vicky. Shout out to y'all too. If you're watching the replay, they're like, <laughs> we love Gavin and Vicky. That's so cool. Hi, Arva. Thanks for your order. Listen, all my folks are up in here. They are in the building. So if you guys didn't know, Minerva also has this pattern. So it is slightly cheaper than you'll find it anywhere else. So if you grab, if you go to Minerva, grab your fabric and all that right there from there, you can also get the pattern for about five bucks cheaper. So that's just FYI, you know, every little bit counts, right, Terrence? I'm just saying. Yes, every little bit counts. Yes, yes. <laughs> Listen, Auntie Carrie, everybody says that. Everybody yeah. like it. Everybody says it's been a huge shift. Um, you're not the first person to tell us that. Um, it's been some changes in in, in management. So <laughs> I think they were very receptive to you all's feedback. So thank you for paving the way so that we have you know amazing experiences based upon maybe your feedback. Things have changed. Nice. You always want a company that is receptive to feedback um, and willing to to change and improve. So you made it better for the ones that came after you. <laughs> Did. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much. All right. So we have one dart in. Oh, this might go faster than I thought. Okay. Thank you, goodness. Thank you. Good to know. I'm like, you should go back. Listen, come back. Come on back. 
Listen, they're looking for ambassadors as we speak. Well, it sounds like she's already an ambassador. It's, it just might be a matter of her, you know, re reigniting the um, reigniting the the uh, the relationship. Come on back. Sometimes, Come on home. Sometimes <laughs> all it takes. My skirt. This is my skirt. <laughs> You're done gushing over uh, Minerva. Did you hear that patterns are about to go up in price at JoJo's, Terrence? And what are your thoughts on that? Um, I heard two ninety nine. Yeah, and I don't think that's honestly considering. I thought I was like, oh, we ain't getting nothing no more. So the fact that it's two ninety nine, I don't think that's horrible. No, no. <laughs> Terrence I said, I still don't want to pay for that. <laughs> Considering everything that is going on, I don't think it's horrible at all. I'm taking things one day at a time, and I'm just seeing how things play out. Uh, I'm just interested to see everything that's going to happen, basically. Thanks, Catrice. Thanks for the reminder. Yes, please, y'all. Please do the thumbs up. Catrice, I appreciate everybody. And... For thumbsing up. Appreciate you so much for that. Yeah, I mean, that's all we can do, right? Even though, you know what? So, here's the thing. I think people, I think most people will think it's completely reasonable. But for y'all to keep saying, well, I thought, I remember when they were at 99 cents. I need y'all to, I need y'all to stay in the corner. I need y'all to stay in the corner, okay? Use your vintage patterns. Because y'all still not over the fact that they're no longer uh, 99 cents. But I think considering everything that's going on, would you rather them close? Would you rather them close? Okay. We've seen change in price for everything. I mean, my mom, she used to tell me stories. She said, I would ride my bike down to the corner store in Bath, Maine, and I would be able to get a hot dog and a Pepsi Cola or Coke for 25 cents. Oh, girl. Girl. You know, so oh, inflation, times change, things change. <laughs> the patterns were not going to be 99 cents forever. Um, yeah, but yo, they still talking about it. They said, they're just greedy. I said, boy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, Lord. Uh, called inflation. <laughs> it's called inflation. <laughs> I was like, I want to know what you, I said, so have you never received a pay raise <laughs> at your job? That's right. what I so have you ever never received a pay raise at your job? Because if not, it shows. That's what I said, Shamir. That was my first question. I said, I, listen, JoJo's, I ain't got no problem with you increasing that price to two ninety nine. I could take a dollar. But vote. I said, are we going to have to give our left rib like Jesus? That wasn't Jesus. Who was that? Moses? Either one. No, it wasn't. Which one of them was it? Adam. Child, my Bible stories is all jacked up. Child, listen. <laughs> Lord, send a revival. <laughs> I can't with her. Send a revival with the jacked up Bible stories. So, Terrence, the only place that I'm really kind of worried about, like, I ain't worried, but the only place where we, you might, um, there might be a little bit of a challenge with you not facing it is in that belt area. So, I'm curious to see um, what will happen when you get there. I mean, we will figure it out. That's, the... fa that's facts. That's facts. Yeah. We will figure it out. Child. We will definitely figure it out when we get there. And the cool thing is, if you're watching this, um, you know, with knits, if you don't shoot, I don't complain at all. I will pay regular price if I if I see what I see in the JoJo's. I know that's right. And the cool thing about this is with knits is it doesn't fry. So if you don't own a serger at home, people, listen, you could just do a zigzag stitch and that the the insides won't fray. And you'll be good to go. So, I did redraft the skirt because I listen. This this pattern cost twenty five dollars. It cost twenty five dollars. So I did redraft the skirt with some um tracing paper, red dot tracing paper. 
if I could find it. <laughs> okay. Which one is this? All right. So this is the skirt front. So I use my red dot tracing paper. You can kind of see it to recreate the pattern, the pattern. Okay. All right. <clears throat> so we're going to, you know, we'll shoot out. She are not complaining at all. Thank you all so much for being here. So now we're moving on. So basically what you do is you assemble the front. You attach the front skirt to the front bodice. And then you attach the back skirt. I mean, the back skirt to the back bodice. So it's kind of like you construct the front first, construct the back. Oh, this is going to be cute. Oh, look how skirt short this skirt is, Terrence. Send a revival. We love a good short. Skirt. Is that your fabric? You said what? Is that your Minerva fabric? It is my Minerva fabric. Do you love it? Pretty, yeah. I it almost actually. You said what? I almost got it myself. Oh, oh. Well, what happened? Why'd you change your mind? There were other prints that I just liked a little more. And I really want to work with more wovens instead of knits. Uh, just because I have so many knits. Okay. Uh, ever since I started doing my fabric de-stash, where I'm using what's in my stash instead of buying more fabric, I started with knits. And I'm just a little worn out. <laughs> I mean, I've got all that Ankara in there you need to use. Shout out to Grace and Zesty Couture. Hey, Grace. Hi, Lisa. Hi, uh, Tigery. Thanks so much for being here. Um, I, so yeah, I would. I, I can see that. I can see that. I'm ready to the woven. <laughs> so you have used their, um, but you have used their uh, linen. I have used their Visco Chalet, I've used their linen, and I've used their jersey. I've used their jersey to, the, I'm actually wearing it now. This is their jersey, their Viscose jersey. I love it. I have a, had a headband collection with their headband jersey. It was a best-selling headband collection. Um, definitely will be getting more of that. Okay. Uh, I really love their jersey, but yeah, I love their wovens. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. Well, this is why he's the chosen one, okay? Oh. <laughs> this, this is why he's the chosen one. I still have not gotten my, uh, <laughs> I've not gotten my March email because they like, oh, girl, no, you're at the bottom of the list. You're at the bottom of the list, sis. I, you know what? They were well within their right because, you know, I got to get my, I got to get my ish together, okay? But wait, when I throw that on, when I throw that on and take my pictures, when I take my pictures, Maybe. Yes. Oh. When I step out, I'm going to step out. All right. So now I'm just assembling the. Are you surging anything or no? Um, I don't know. <laughs> so much uncertainty, so little time. Okay. To do. <laughs> Front two. Okay. What sort of what styles are you looking forward to making this spring? I love cord set. I love a matching set. Cord okay. made. At Norris, a uh, button down and shorts in the mm -hmm. of Minerva, and I absolutely loved it. I love that button down shirt, and I want to make more of that, more of the shirt and shorts combo. Okay. Uh, Texas is so hot, so I just love anything that is loose, anything that is flowy. I love just like a cute little tank top dress. Uh, that I can wear with some sandals and just run around town and run some errands. Um, active wear. Uh, as you know, I, I do work out and I do run. 
And so I love cute coordinating activewear sets. So that's something that I really want to get into. Okay. Also, so yeah, those are the things that I'm really excited for. Um, and just testing, testing my sewing skills uh, just with new stuff. So what about you? Um, what am I excited about? I really feel like, honestly, I have been challenging myself. Like, I'm proud of me. I want to thank me for believing in me. Like, for instance, I, like, for real, have you noticed? Have you noticed? Let me explain why. Because then he's trying to play me, y'all. He's trying to play me. Like, here she go. Here she go. But no, like, I, I made, at this point, two button-up shirts. And I, y'all know I don't do buttons. Y'all know I don't do buttons, but I've been doing but I did those Ranger jeans that required me to do a button. Like I've been doing all the buttons, okay? Then I made the that bustier, Mimi's bustier. Not one, not two, but three times. Mm -hmm. What else have I been doing? How else have I been slaying the girls? Like I just been like really showing up for myself. Like okay, Carmi, you really are getting, you're stepping your shit up, like. And I feel like, you know, now that I'm I, like, I'm taking my make nine board seriously. Now, the next thing that I do want to tackle, though, even though it's spring and it's really like, eh, and I've seen this trend. I don't know, like, I want to talk about this next. But one thing I do want to tackle and one thing I feel like they are, like, really throwing in our face is, like, those, um, like, cargo pockets. I'm like, okay. They 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 not they not letting up with these cargo pockets. Now I love a good cargo pant. I have a lot of patterns that I've never made cargo pant patterns, but I feel like they're throwing cargo pockets on everything, like the shorts, the skirts, and I'm just like, man, I don't I don't know how I'm feeling that style. What about you? Do you like cargo pants and pockets? It's not really my style. Um, I can appreciate it, but I like a simple pant or yeah. Box. I don't like things that are too clunky and cumbersome and like there was there's a lot I really like a slim tight fitting kind of silhouette but that's you know that's just me and my yeah. uh like a slim fit chino things like that I'm not really into like the car like I said, I, you know, I, hi, Dory B. Can you come over to um YouTube, please, auntie? Thank you. I forgot to put the YouTube link in there. That's one thing I messed up on this time. Sorry, y'all. Cat Reinvented on YouTube. Thank you so much for joining on YouTube. Thank you so much. Um, Yeah, is anybody else in the audience? Like, how are you guys feeling about the cargo trend? So, the two common things that I'm seeing this spring that are coming out in these patterns are cargo pockets over everything. You're seeing the bustier trend, which honestly, I don't mind that. I don't mind the bustier trend. I'm liking that a lot. Um, and and they, they are bringing back the cutouts again. Like, the cutouts. Listen, I am big my back. Don't have any plans to do it. So, I probably... You know, won't be doing that much cutouts this summer. Um, but I noticed that trend has definitely uh, made its way back into the fold. I love a good cutout moment, just not for me. <laughs> what you mean? You have the body for it. If it's a back cutout, sure. But a front cutout... <laughs> Or a side what you mean the front cutout? The cutouts I feel like are on the side. The side cutouts I feel like are. Oh, um, y'all made that top that had the little cutout triangle right here. She, I think it was you and she. Oh, that was cute. You mean Mimi's um dress? No, it was a top. She's. I think she's wearing green. Oh, child, <laughs> child. <laughs> Child, you feel like you've been transported back to high school? What's what do you mean, Amanda? Explain, Amanda. What do you mean? Hi, Kay. Hi, Kay Bella. Hi, Sin. Hi, Deborah. I like it because it gives design options. So Deborah, like, she's feeling the cutouts. She's I feeling the cutouts. 
I like a good peekaboo in the middle. I like a good peekaboo in the middle. Um, Mimi had a knit dress last summer. I made that thing twice. I'm probably gonna definitely bring that back this summer. But the, I actually got. Let me show you. I did get it. Okay, I thought I had it here. I thought I had it here. Hold on, hold on, y'all. Hold on. Oh, we're halfway there. Oh, I guess I don't have it. I don't know where the hell that thing is. Oh, living on a prayer. Here she go. Lord Jesus, honey child. Living on a prayer. You love my singing. You love to hear it. I like to be fully covered like a school mom. Lord. Love. Oh, here we go. 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 I'm back. I'm back. Bring Bye. all the attention to the melons, please. Bring all the attention to the melons. <laughs> Here we go. So I did end up getting this pattern, not to not to take anything time away, but I did I, end up getting. I did get that one, yes. And child, I got this one because I I knew I was like Terrence is gonna get this. Somehow I feel like we're gonna end up doing this, even though I feel like we've made we've seen this a million times. But I got it because I knew Dan was going to want to make it. And I was like, you know what? That can be another one of our sew alongs. I already made it and I love it. It's one of my favorite dresses that I've Hold made. Hold on. Is this the one you made this summer? Yes. I don't know why I thought that shit was new. No, there's one that looks like it. There's one that looks like it. That's new. That's probably why. You're feeling the po pockets, not the cutouts. Oh, Deborah, you don't. Deborah said, "Cover me all the way up, okay? I don't want none of them cutouts. Y'all can keep that, okay? All right, Deborah. Say, all right, Deborah. All right. Shout out to Deborah, our niece, that be playing the heck out of Terrence. Like, <laughs> all right. So here's what we're working with, people. Oh, that's gonna be short. So. Ooh, 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 <laughs> ooh, child. So we're going to do a baby hem on this. Mm-hmm. You wanted the top. This is definitely going to be a baby hem stitch, and that's okay. Triple Jack said, I like a cutout because you mix and match prints. Bustier or cute, uh, cute uh, but definitely need a full bust adjustment. Okay. I, I'm making a mini mini press, son. All right. So we have that. So I could surge this. Um, but I'm gonna just, you know, I'm gonna surge it. I'm gonna surge it. I'm gonna surge it. Hello, Zena. Hello, 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 everybody. All right, so I'm just going to quickly surge this, okay? I am still attaching the top to the bottom. Good evening, good evening, good evening. I haven't made the top yet. Sin, I don't know. If I, I gotta see how this turned out before I make that top. Um, I gotta see, girl. I gotta see. All right. So 
Well, Terrence is skipping all the real work today. Carmen, yours will look good with boots or sandals. I agree. I agree. It's definitely going to give a retro moment. Definitely going to give a retro one, which I'm excited about. All right, so we're moving on to the back. All right, okay, so we're going to move on to the back. That's the sleeve. Um, no, that's not the sleeve. What the hell? Super excited about this. I'm really excited. It's going to give me like gold member vibes, which I'm I'm excited about. I'm so excited. And I just can't hide it. How are your orders coming, Terrence? I know you said you had quite a bit, so I appreciate you being here with us today. They are slow and steady, but thankfully people have been very, very patient and understanding, which I really appreciate. I'm just glad I have the fabric and I'm able to process things um, and get the orders out as quickly as I can. Oh, I am you handled it. You you think you manage it really well because your fabric got here. Like they, it's it's kind of like they felt your spirit of rage come through those airways. <laughs> I think I. I'm able to handle it well because I've already been through a situation kind of similar to this when I went viral and had all those orders and people were waiting like three months, ah! three or four months for a shipment. And so I can survive that. I can survive anything. Agree. I want to talk about that story. Do you mind telling it again? Um, first of all, uh, D said, did they ever reach out to you about uh, getting your stuff back? Which, uh, like refunding me? Yeah. Um, no. So I reached out to them and said I was refunded and they did not respond. Hmm. Left me red. So that's that. <laughs> So I'll be looking for a new vendor. <laughs> right. I would definitely be looking for a new vendor. <laughs> wow. Are any are you gonna make any videos? About that experience? About the vendor. <laughs> About the vendor. You know what? I have other videos that I need to make. <laughs> Other videos I have to make, so I don't think so. Okay. Thank God. Thank God. I wasn't encouraging it by any means, but I was just like, Lord, brace ourselves. Everybody brace yourself. Taryn's about to make a video, child. I haven't made a video in a minute. I... You haven't? That's why I said, Lord, like, what are we? Y'all should be very proud. I'm very proud. I am absolutely proud of you, Terrence. Like, you have calm down and just today you know it seems like we've been reversing roles lately even though the the general population has not seen it because i believe in firm believer and vent friends and vent friends are people that you need to talk to before you take it to the internet tara still talks to us and doesn't give a shit and still comes to the internet. but <laughs> but you know vent friends are very very important um especially as you know you grow in the space I think they are so necessary. Do you agree? I agree. You definitely need people who are willing to talk you down off of the ledge before you do something that you will regret. And it's, I feel sometimes, especially in this space, in the content creator space, it's really easy to just go off of emotion and post things or stories or make comments out of anger or frustration. And then that can have truly a negative impact, not only on the people who support you um, and your community, but it also on brand deals and how brands view you. And so it's, it's really important to make sure that you're putting your best foot forward, obviously being your most authentic self and being true to yourself, but also realizing that being true to yourself and authentic also incorporates respect. Um, mm -hmm. 
and not doing things out of anger and frustration and trying to be or manipulative because that always comes back to bite you. So mm. I do important to have those friends that you can vent to. So once you get it off your chest, it's not just sitting and doing and feeling those emotions. It's really good to talk about it. I agree. So let me, you tell me this though. What could I have done better? As, how could I have been a better friend to you for you not to go the fuck off the times that we have had our venting session? <laughs> here's what Terrence will do, y'all. He, he won't be, he'll vent. And then here's the thing. This is his process. He'll vent. And then he gets quiet. He gets very quiet for like a good five to 10 minutes. And I'm like, oh no. I said, no, no, no. I said, don't do anything. You like, mm, I'm not going to do anything. He'll say, I'm going to go for a run. Right? He'll be like, I'm going for a run. I'm like, I, I, I feel it in my spirit, y'all. I be knowing. I be knowing when he about to go off. But I said, Lord, please let this be a run. Please let this be a run. But when he says run, he may run his goddamn mouth and go to the internet. I said, listen, so what could I have done in those situations to, to talk you off the ledge? How could I better talk you off the ledge in the future? I'm going to be honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> be honest with you. There okay. is something you could have said or done in those situations to not have made me go off and, and say what I had to say because I believe in those situations. I had a moral conviction and imperative to say what I had to say because there are some situations where the message and the cause is bigger than me. There are some situations where it's not specifically about me, the message needs to be heard by other people. And if I have to be the messenger, if I have to be the bad guy, I am completely fine with doing that. Lord. Because there are just certain things that need to be said and there are certain boundaries that need to be set and there are certain causes that need to be amplified. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I can be that person. Um, and it, I don't really care. <laughs> Oh, okay. Hold on real quick, Karen. Okay, so I'm going to answer Kate's question first. Um, We met on TikTok. We met on TikTok. And I will tell you, um, I saw one of Terrence's videos and we just started following each other. And I was surprised he followed me. I was just like, yo, he, I said, he's kind of cool. Like, you know, he remind me of, you know, my, some of my friends or whatever. And um, I don't know what video. I just thought he was fabulous. It had to be one of his caffeine videos. Thought he was fabulous. And I like to follow fabulous shit. Like, I like to follow fabulous things. And um, I just like to style. I like to style. I like to approach. And I did. And I, the crazy thing is, Terrence, I don't think you, I don't know if you remember this, but I made, like, a video about him. Like, like I, I was like, I was like, yo, his energy. I like his energy. And, you know, I don't, I don't make, like, videos. of. It was a fangirl thing, thing to do. And I don't do fangirl shit. Like, I'm just like, whatever. We all human. We all fucking human. Whatever. But it was something about Terrence. It was something about his energy that I just, I really gravitated to. And I was just like, you know what? Something in my spirit is saying that I need, like, that he needs to know this at this particular time. So, made the video. He's like, you know, Terrence. Oh, so sweet. Oh, oh my God. Oh, Carmen, thank you. Thank you. I'm like, oh, enough of that. Enough of that. Enough of that. I don't need any of that. <laughs> but yeah, we met on TikTok. TikTok. Listen, TikTok has been real life changing shit. Like I met a lot of great people on TikTok. I met, I met, I, I met a couple cool, cool people puffs too. But in general, I've met a lot of really dope, cool people on TikTok. Like you know, the internet is. I don't feel. First of all, I don't feel like the internet is a real place. But at the same time, I've been fortunate enough to uh, meet some really dope individuals, and I feel like that is attributed to. You know, uh, what you put out is what you get back, and um, yeah, Terrence is, is one of the one of the good ones. And how Most do you find my video, Terrence? Because you follow me first. I'm just, um... Most of the time, <laughs> I remember your video. I do. 
I remember it. What video was it? You were just talking about how you discovered this really cool sewist and you just wanted to give me my flowers basically and you introduced everyone no you found me before that no i'm talking about your video i don't know who followed who first all i know is that i remember your video and i thought it was really really nice i thought it was really sweet now he can't stand me i can't mm -mm -mm. Now he can't stand me. He can't live without me. He can't stand me. Hi, uh, who, uh, um, Brooklyn Timmy that likes to have different names because I swear you the op. You the feds, Brooklyn Timmy. You the feds, girl. Um, she said, yes, those caftan videos in the field. Yes, it was it was definitely a field video. I, I vividly remember a field video. How'd you find that field? And do you still tape there? I feel like that's like one of your signature spots. The I feel like you be outside that building now, but yes. If you remember the field, you are OG Terrence. Uh there's that I took in this wrap dress were in the field. Yeah. How'd you find that field? Did you used to go on dates there? No, by my house. You be there's frolicking. Did do you keep it real? Do you be frolicking? In that field? Yeah, like do you ever frolic? Like I mean in yesterday I frolicked because I was creating content, but not because a bunch of hills and bugs and it's a it's a big ass field. <laughs> it's a big <laughs> fire. Thank you. So yeah, it's not really a pretty frolicking. It's get in, do the photo shoot, try not to get eaten alive by ants and get out. Oh, you don't wear it off when you go out there? No, because I don't want to get it all over the clothes. Oh, uh, I will be wearing. Oh, I don't like. I don't like to be a bitten up, child. I will put some off on. I stuff it thank out. Thank you, D. Thank you, Do thank you, Auntie Dory B, for coming over. That's my girl. Okay. Anyway, um, but yeah. Normally, like, the, yeah, what attracts me to people are either they funny. Like, I got a thing for aunties. I really got a thing for, I love a, a, a black auntie. That's why y'all be like, Carmen, you, like, Auntie Carol and them, I love a good auntie. Dory B, I love, because I'm like, you know, I'm obsessed with my aunts. Um, Because they were always so funny. Like, you know, your aunts are the ones, and I'm an auntie. Your aunts are the one that, you know, be telling you the truth about, you know, what your, what your mama did in real life. When they be trying to act all goody two shoes and the shit. It's the auntie that really devolves the real secrets or something. So I got a thing for black aunties, right? Um, and I love learning. I love hearing storytelling. Like I love a person that knows how to tell a good story. Not lie. Not lie. Because there's some liars out there. Some liars out there. Don't lie. But I love a good auntie story. Um <laughs> And I love young people because they keep me like, you know, I appreciate the younger people in BSN because they keep me hip. I'm like, yo, what's going on? Tell me about, even though y'all don't be knowing music, I'm like, y'all need to listen to some good music. Not the young people keeping you hip. They are, keep, they not really keeping me hip because honestly, y'all not hip. Y'all not really hip either. Because y'all, I feel like y'all don't have no sense of identity. Shit. I'm like, what music you like? I don't know anything. Lord, <laughs> I was very clear. I knew what, what I liked by the age of 10, okay? I knew what I liked by the age of 10 and what I didn't like. I knew what I wasn't supposed to be listening to. Who you ain't supposed to be listening to? I love, I'm at 10, I was listening to Lil' Kim. I was listening to Lil' Kim at 10. Were you listening to Lil' Kim? What were y'all listening to out there in the fields in rural Pennsylvania? We were listening to Garth Brooks. Alex oh, God. Um, Shania Twain. Shania Love. was that girl. Shania was that girl. Okay, I'm not mad at uh, that. Love Tim McGraw. Kenny, some Kenny Chesney. Um, and then we also, my mom loved Sunny and Cher. She loved Cher. So Sing, I got you, babe. Sing it. No. <laughs> Why weren't you sing? I got you, babe. I am not a vocalist, so we. I not I got you, babe. I got you. That's gonna be our song. 
That's gonna be our song, Terrence. We gotta play that next time we on TikTok. On Sunday, I'm gonna play that. Oh, I got you, babe. Hey, Auntie Carol. Terrence, you trying again? Yeah, he's trying. <laughs> hey, grown and opinionated. I'm gonna sing that. Terrence, you want me to sing it to you? That's the, honestly the only part I know. And do you know? Let me tell you why I know that song. Can you guess why I know that song? How do you know that song? I said guess first. You know I'm really bad at guessing. This is I I don't like guessing. I'm really bad at it. Did you watch the Golden Girls? Yes. My mom loved the Golden Girls. I grew up in the Golden Girls. Do you remember when Rose and Dorothy sang I got sang that song? They were no, it was it was Sophia and Dorothy. They said they sang it for a talent show or something. They were dressed up as Sunny and Cher. And they sang I Got You, babe. I don't remember that episode. You didn't really watch it then. Do you who else remembers that? Who so, else remembers that episode of the Golden Girls where Dorothy and uh, Sophia sang with Sonny and Cher? Oh, you ain't really watch it then. All right, y'all. So I'm working on the stack the skirt back. I can't believe this this guy. Was it hard to do the um the collar? No. Easy. I don't know what's happening over there, child, but whew. my bobbin is empty, almost empty, so it's it's letting me know. Okay. There was their pageant at the senior center. Sophia wanted to beat the other lady. Okay, there you go. We, okay, Tia. I see Tia know her going girl sex. <laughs> Don't play with Tia. Don't play with Tia. Carol is in. You saw the episode this past. I think I might watch that tonight. It's on Hulu. Shout out to Hulu. Carol's sewing corner. Lord. <laughs> I miss Carol. Hi, Carol. I was Chicago Frogtails coming, Miss Carol. Oh! Oh! I'm going to stay out of that one. Everybody, did everybody buy the Chicago Frogtails ticket? You can buy it from chicagofrogtails.com. It's going to be an exciting time. Terrence, what do you think you're going to wear to Chicago? What were your best way? What would your best way be to describe what Frogtails is? Can you explain it for the people that had never been and have no clue on what Frogtails is? Shout out to everybody that has been to Frogtails. Shout out. Drop in the comments if you've ever been to a Frogtails. And if you've been to a Frogtails before, how many Frogtails have you gone to? Everybody in the comments. It's, it's 49 of y'all lurking up in here. Have you, number one, ever been to a Frogtails? Let me see. I want to see how many, who has been to the most Frogtails. I have been to two. Chicago will be my third Frogtails. I've Three so far. You know what? Will, we got to get you a shirt. We got to get Will the professional frock tailor shirt. I've Working been... Yeah, three. You been to three, too, Terrence? I went to New York, New York, and Miami, South Florida. So, yeah. Oh. I've been to three. Ain't you fancy. Not Will trying to come for the crown. Will that went to one, and now he thinks he's the queen diva of all frock tails. Never went waiting for Dallas. Grace, we got to get you out of Dallas. Oh, my God. <laughs> Dallas is coming, I think, next year. Do you think so? Monica and I have been talking about it, yes. Okay, we'll talk about that in a second. I met both of you in Miami, yes, and you were also at uh, New York. Brooklyn Timmy, Brooklyn Timmy is a real person, y'all. Brooklyn Timmy is a real person. I just want everybody to know that she is a real person. Brooklyn Timmy brings liquor to frock tails. She sure does. She sure does. Life who brought liquor to frock tails until Brooklyn Timmy child. 
Brooklyn Timmy brought me a whole bottle of Ciroc. He said, uh, tell, tell the real story, Carmen. What you mean? What's the real story? He said, I know you probably don't know me, but I know you. And I was in your live and you said, you mentioned one at one moment for five seconds in one little clip that this was your favorite drink. And I <laughs> brought it for you. I brought it just for you. I appreciate that too. That's that's real love, okay? Tiny, little, insignificant detail. Because you know Carmen be talking. <laughs> Carmen was off as ran and Brooklyn Timmy remembered that one little bit of information <laughs> and brought Carmen the exact liquor that she was talking about. Okay, alright. I don't I be talking a lot, and I honestly don't remember what I be saying. But I be, I do be talking. I do be talking. A fan or a stalker? I said that's that's how you know you're famous. What? <laughs> what? Nah. Let Brooklyn me tell me that's fan. That's fan. But Brooklyn, tell me. Let me tell you something though. For Brooklyn, you got to show up on time to the next cocktails. You, I want you to be like. I know I'll be late, Brooklyn. Tell me. But Brooklyn Timmy be late. She said, listen, when I'm late, I am late. I am late. Brooklyn Timmy be like, I'm going to show up. Listen, I'll be late to everything. Like Terrence said, I'm going to be late to my funeral. Brooklyn Timmy, can we work on you being on time? Oh, she said she work in sales. That's why. I know that's right. She said, listen. Listen. Got, I, listen, I love to see it. Teach me. Brooklyn, tell me if you work in sales, what is your big? What is your? What is your? Uh, what would you say is the the biggest success or the most important thing to having success in sales? Y'all think I'm famous? I walked into South Florida Frock Tales and everyone was really excited to see me. And then you want to know what they said? They're like, "Oh my gosh, so excited you're here!" Blah 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 blah. Where's Carmen? Wow. Where's and it was the same at um, New York Frocktails. Oh my God, I can't believe you're here. Where's Carmen? Where's That's Carmen? a lie. That's a lie. That's what? a lie. That's a lie. Oh, really? Oh, really? That's Let's a lie. That's a lie. Tapes. Let's play back the tapes. I said, I'm Chop Liver. I, I'm Chop Liver. I know you're not talking. I know you're not talking. Listen, I, I was that. at that retreat last week. He didn't even pay. I paid $600 to go to this retreat. I paid $600 to commune with fellow sewers, beautiful sewers, beautiful souls, mind you. Right? Well, I'm chilling with these women all week. I'm helping them. Oh, you you need a clapper? Oh you, oh, you need your iron? Oh, you need an extra piece of fabric? You need some fabric scissors? You need all this. Just being communing with one. This motherfucker walks in to the fabric store, walks in with his 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 duster, and everybody's like, ah, oh my God, oh my God. "Don't miss me with it, sir. Miss me with it." To be the brigade, brigade with her phone out, Carmen and Monica with their phone out, chasing me around the store like I was some <laughs> and they were the paparazzi in Paris. That's what, <laughs> that's what oh, it's oh, look at this. Do you see uh, Brooklyn Timmy's feedback? I like that. I like that. I like that. And his Britney Spears umbrella. Exactly. Sam was there. Sam saw it. All right, Terrence, let's let's dive into uh Brooklyn Timmy's um feedback. I asked her what are some keys to being a great salesperson? Because if you're an entrepreneur, essentially, you're in sales. So she said, ask open-ended questions. It's a conversation, not a sale. With that said, always ask for the sale. Ain't that contradictory? No, I know what she means, though. I know what she means. What are your thoughts on that, Terrence? I agree because you have to figure out what the problem is. So your customer, your client have a problem that they are coming to you to solve, but you can't solve it unless you know 
exactly what it is needs to be solved. So you never want to go in and assume that you have the solution right away until you ask people because everyone is different. Everyone has different needs. Everyone has different things that they want. So that's why it's important to ask open-ended questions because then you get to know the person on a different level, on a personal level. You get to know their life, <laughs> what they're looking for, what they're not looking for. So then you're able to narrow down your selection and offer them the best product that matches their needs, not just a standard product that you're pushing out to everyone because that product, that standard product that you're pushing out to everyone might not fit what they need and might not be the solution to their problem, whatever their problem is. Um, Brooklyn said, Timmy said, yes, let them talk. The more they talk, the more you know. Yeah. Look at y'all being solution, solution oriented. Okay, so the back of the skirt is done. So I'm going to work on the straps next. Um, look at y'all community. So for those that just think like, oh yeah, Terrence, he just sews. What are your, what are some of the biggest sort of problems that you find that you encounter in this space? And how do you like, what are some of the, like the key things that you tell people or that you feel like will be the solution to a lot of people's like challenges in this space, whether or not it be from a content, content creation perspective or a sewing perspective? Well, I think the biggest issue in the fashion space specifically is clothes that are gendered and clothes that are not size inclusive. So that's why my brand is, and clothes that are not ethically sourced and sustainably made. So that's why my brand, the principles of my brand focus around that. So that was my solution to the problem was creating a brand where everyone felt welcome. Um, everyone felt like they had a place. Uh, people didn't feel bad or guilty about um, requesting a bigger size because what we see a lot in the plus size or fat community is that they feel like they are an inconvenience. They feel like, well, um, I don't want to have to ask them for extra fabric or extra time or extra effort because of my weight or my size. Mm -hmm. uh, they also are upcharged. So t-shirts, dresses, whatever, always cost more if you are a 1X, 2X, 3X, 4X, whatever, than mm -hmm. the standard sizing. So it was really important for me to create a brand that um, got rid of that idea and got rid of that notion. Um, and really prioritized people's individuality and their spirit and and um, what was important to them and what was important to me also. Yeah, that's one. That's definitely one practice because I, you know, worked in printing for many years and you know, honestly, yeah, we did charge quote unquote the fact tax because the manufacturer charges more to the printer, so the printer, you know, pushes the uh, the price off you know, the sort of the extra off to the customer. But I started because of you. That's one thing that I did change because you said essentially, you know what, like just increase your price so that, you know, it's it's only going to be increased by a little bit across the board. And so everybody can take sort of like the responsibility of the, the extra additional cost. And what I find in BSN is the majority of the things that I sell are between extra large and even it's up like up to like I have like a couple folks that are four x five x, but you know I charge them all the same and that's a practice that I adopted as a result of you know being not that I didn't I never thought about it the way that you explained it but because of like the way in which you explained it I I changed it and I I do see where it matters and so I guess one that's one of the reasons I'm really appreciative of our friendship. But so just for those lessons and, you know, just not really thinking about it, but, you know, forcing me to think about things that I wouldn't historically think about and contributing to the level of inclusivity in BSN. So, yeah, and that was one of your videos that went viral on TikTok, too, right? It was one of the my first. Yeah, the first video that went viral is when I was speaking about that. Um in regards to my business and in regards to 
how people feel like they are an inconvenience. And fashion is limiting enough. It doesn't need to be even more limiting. And so, yeah, it was. it's always been something that's been really important to me. Always. Hi, D. Thanks for coming. All right, so I'm working on these straps, y'all, that are extremely long. Do you feel like this strap is kind of long? Like, it doesn't, it's unnecessarily long? I feel like they are long, but I didn't realize you're supposed to wrap them around twice. Yeah, yeah. So, there was there's that <laughs> you said um yeah it's long but you know <laughs> i guess there's a reason it's long so yeah i'm working on that now should have did that in advance Ugh. Mm -mm -mm. So do you want to tell people about what they can expect to see from Terrence Williams Design this summer? I'm super excited about some projects you have coming up. Doing quite a few different things. I'm doing some uh, uh, dusters, some caftans. I'm doing um, sarongs, some beach cover-ups, all the for a Now, where do you plan on shooting these? Because you don't really have beaches around you. I don't. But you know, the great thing about the internet is we now have AI. So. Oh, so you're going to use AI? Cool. Okay. I'm going to try. I'm going to try. At least, at least just for my background. You know what I mean? Uh, because again, Texas doesn't really have beaches and I'm not traveling for hours to Galveston. Is that where it is? You know, that's where Beyonce mother is from. Yeah, the beaches are in Galveston, but here's the thing. I think it was last year was the first year that they said the water was almost clean enough to be able to get in in the beach of Galveston. So, yeah, there's that. Well, we're not looking for almost clean enough. We need you to be clean enough to be in, be in the beach. <laughs> There's Wait, that. I don't know how I feel about almost. <laughs> what does that mean, almost? Okay. I don't think the ocean anyway, but I'm definitely not getting in, in the beaches of Galveston, child. All right. So I'm working on the straps net. A fake beach. What's a fake beach? What do you mean a fake beach? What you talking? It's a real beach. Galveston is a real beach. Here she go. Here she go. How many beaches does Chicago have, Miss Carol? No, they, they do got a lot of beaches. I discovered that myself. Like, they be having, they got, like, the whole entire Great Lakes up there. I discovered that, too, as a result of the planning for Frocktails. I was like, y'all got, y'all got bodies of water to swim in? Because you think about it for being, like, such a cold place. But Sin was putting me on all the things. Like, Detroit got beaches. I was like, Detroit got beaches? But you got to think, they're right up there by the Great Lakes. So they have great, like, lakes. But like huge lakes that are like here she go, here she go. I know it's a lake. It's not uh, the ocean. It's not a. Uh, it's a lake. But apparently they have beautiful, like beautiful, beautiful, beautiful bodies of water. Here she go. Here she go. Here hey, she Ms. go. Why don't you take your bends to the shore, <laughs> get on your yacht, and have a <laughs> time? I will be my AI. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Way. You enjoy. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Shout out to the Midwest. Shout out to the Midwest. Where do most of your com customers live? Do you know? Most of BSN is in the Midwest. Hence the reason why I was so passionate about p participating in, um, you know, Frock Tales. Most of us are in the Midwest. Looking at my map, it's the East Coast. Okay. I mean, don't get me wrong. I have a lot of folks up here in like the tri-state area, but the West Coast and the Midwest are representing hard. And I think it's because I'll be up late and y'all be up with me, but shout out to the Midwest. Shout out to Illinois. The D. Oak Tree Beach is nice. You can really take real pics. Okay. All right. Well, is it is it how far away is it from the um frog tails? So I guess 
guess Will is the one that has been through, been to the most frocktails in with three. You and Will are neck and neck. Yep. Will and I are neck and neck. Well, it looks like he going to have you beat he, beat this year because he a whole entire frocktails popping. He said he ain't going to no more frocktails though after this, though. We all know that's a lie. We all know that's a lie, Will. What you talking about? You gonna come out the bathroom, Monty Carroll? Lord, here she go. Here you go, the sis. Old just, the old folks just be rambling. <laughs> All right, y'all. So we are working on we are working on the second one. Mm, what's that? Okay. Up live like she on TikTok. Uh, what? <laughs> At on TikTok, she would be requesting to join from her bed. That was all. I'm just here. I'm just here. You can't request on here without the link. <laughs> you can't request on here without having a link. Get the link, Miss Carol. <laughs> Right. He now he feels protected to be able to say whatever he wanna say. Miss Carol, when are we battling again? Oh Lord, here we go. So I can if, my Can you stop calling it a battle? What? Can you stop calling it a battle? It was far from a battle show. It was a battle cry. It was a battle cry of Republic. Battle Republic. It was it was horrible. It was pretty bad. Listen, we're gonna do it on her turf. <laughs> We're gonna do it on her time and her turf. <laughs> when I tell you that shit was embarrassing, I was I was embarrassed for you, Auntie. Sure. She these Louise, that thing was bad. That was bad. That was bad. It was a bad joint, as the kids in Philly like to say. It was a cute little get together. That's what it was. It was. That's what you want to call it? a cute little get together. That shit was a massacre. <laughs> a massacre. Okay. <laughs> it was fun getting your behind me. It was fun getting your behind me. <laughs> I I mean you in Jersey Dory B, but y'all beaches are kinda, I don't know. I don't swim in the Jersey Shore. I've gone to the Jersey Shore, but I don't swim in it. That's for sure. <laughs> Terrence was just was serious and planning. Listen, that's one thing Terrence is. He's a great at like planning. Oh, tell me about what you and Monica were talking about regarding the uh y'all Chicago frocktails. Speaking of plans, glad you brought that up. I I'm not slandering Jersey. I'm just being honest. I go to Jersey. It's good to hang out, but I don't. Do you swim in them waters? Yeah, do you swim in them Jersey beaches? The only thing I swim in is a pool with chlorine. So there are no concrete plans. Um, we have just been going over ideas and themes um, and thinking about locations. It would be really fun if we had it at uh, the fairgrounds. 
Uh, that was one of the locations. So where we have the Texas State Fair, there's like this women's museum on the fairground. So we were thinking about maybe having it there. And it's right downtown. It's right next to everything. Uh, but there are also a few other places in downtown Dallas that make it really... So afterwards, we could just like hop around and do stuff downtown. And then we were just talking about like themes. So one of the major things that we were thinking about was like cowboys and westerns because that's what Texas is known for. Yeah. But it was a few years ago, I believe it was Chanel had a huge show here in Dallas. Um and everyone flew in for the show and the whole theme of the show was kind of like rodeo cowboy. And it wasn't hokey pokey. It was really upscale and elevated. Um, so you can do cowboy Western without it being too gimmicky. Okay. Um, so kind of like Beyonce Renaissance cowboy. You know what I mean? So like an upscale kind of thing. But we're still thinking about it. We're still planning the, there was an original group of people who wanted to do Dallas Rock Tales um, and everything got stopped because of the pandemic, but they wanted to have it outside of Dallas, like in Northern Dallas, like Plano area. Um, and I said, absolutely not. <laughs> What's wrong with that? What's wrong with that? Like not wrong with it, but why Why would you advise against that? Far away. It's too far. Like if you want to come to Dallas and have a Dallas Frocktails, I think it should be in Dallas. I think the excitement and everything is in the city and that is just too far away from everything. Uh, <laughs> wouldn't be in a because then if y'all wanted to go out and explore Dallas, you would have to travel so far. Um it's like 45, 30, 45 minutes. Oh wow, yeah, that that does sound far. So it's like where y'all were for the retreat. Of, oh that's like, that was in Africa. That was in Africa. <laughs> People were like, where were you? Yeah. It's just like, like you're you're above Plano. <laughs> that's all he can say. You're a big sweet. <laughs> like having New York frock tails, but having it in Long Island, Island or Jersey or Massachusetts or something. You know what I mean? It just doesn't <laughs> right. up there. Oh, so we have one strap done. Oh, this. You know what? I know I'm already gonna like this one better. I mean, I like that one too, but I can already tell. This this is going to be the moment. This is everyone loved your first dress. Oh, my first dress was stunning. That's why. First oh. dress. Yeah. Further than Plano, much further. I'm just saying. Like it was in Aubrey, Texas. Aubrey, Texas. It was far, far, far. I was talking to her and trying to hint. I was like, listen, I don't want to plan it. But I said, I would love to have a BSM retreat there. I, I, we already got the folks. And the thing about it is they have an extra house there. So like the boys, like where Monica and them stayed, there was a house that could fit like four or five people. So the boys could come, like Will and, you know, everybody can come. So I'm trying to do a collab, like, you know. I tried to do a collab, so I ain't got to do it, you know? <laughs> you don't know? Here she go. I'm just saying. I'm trying to, I'm just trying to work smarter, not harder. I'm great at promotion. I, I know what my strengths are, so okay. I'm trying to have a sorority wear BSN weekend, but, you know, the, like, where the boys can come if they want to come. Okay. I think it's, you don't like that idea? I do, but what's the what can we name it something else? Um I said, what you mean? Can we name it something? What you wanna name it? Well, well, I'm taking into account you was kind of like the aka said the Miyakas, you know, the auxiliary group. Y'all can be the auxiliary. I mean, let's be honest, it ain't a lot of men that so I tried to join the AKAs and they told me no. So uh, no, you cannot join the AKA. They have like sweet AKAs though back in the day, not now. They had sweethearts. They were called Miyakas. Um, they no. 
Yeah. Not you, so, not you, not you. Try to join the AKAs, please. I did. I please. did. Quickly told me though. Why was you trying to be in a, a fraternity, like an alpha or something, like an alpha or the uh, 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 you know, yeah, the alpha. That's the one that comes to mind, or uh, or a sigma or something. I wanted to be the ones that were black and gold and looked Egyptian, but then they were they were. Once I found out people were getting hit with sticks and branded, I said, "Oh no." <laughs> Um, no, I can't look like Egyptians. Get me out of here, y'all. Get me out of here. Get me out of here right now. I listen. Oh, well, DC Frogtails was in College Park, uh, Maryland, and Mar University of Maryland. Yeah, that's where I went to school. We should have DC would look like it was cute. I'm going to go to DC. If they don't have it, it, I would need DC to be in like March. I can't do nothing in February. It just don't sit right in my spirit. Yes, he did, Bird. Yes, he did, Bird. He definitely said that. I just, I can't. I can't. I can't. They, they were Egyptian aligned. Oh my God. Yes, they, that's what he's talking about, y'all. Please, 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 don't encourage him. Listen, we're not having this conversation right now because Terrence and then lost his goddamn mind. And I don't but, want the bros in my DM like, oh, who that you was online with? Mind your business. He can say. Black Yes, they're black and gold. That's Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated. Please, let's move on. Let's move on. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <sighs> I'm Lord, just saying. This, driving me crazy. Can we just go back to the uh, collab retreat with Sorority Wear where That's, the guys can come? The reason I did enjoy it is because they looked intimidating and um, once I found out people were getting hit with sticks and branded, I was. I said no, thank you. I said no, thank you. Because listen, I will sing like a canary. I. I no, I'm so yes, it's brother. probably best. It's probably best you moved on to other things like fashion. <laughs> Lord, send a revival. <laughs> Stick to fashion. They stop what? They stop what? Bird. Okay. Yes. Uh, Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated and all the divine nine organizations are non uh, hazing, non pledging organizations. <laughs> What's the obligatory? Uh, uh, mantra, let's move on. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna, we gonna move on. We're gonna move by, on. It's by Alpha Delta pre law fraternity, and it was both boys and girls, men and women, theys and thems, and it was academic based. There you go. There you go. There I you go. Got, got my little Greek letters and my pins, and I, you know, still got my soul on graduation. And I didn't have to do all the other stuff. So. Okay, boom. There you go. There you go. There you go. Amen. Amen. Moving on. Conversation, because I don't need someone getting investigated. <laughs> all right. Let's move on. Let's move on. Anyway, so about this retreat, this joint retreat, so that the guys can come. You want to come to a joint retreat? I would come to a joint retreat. I would. I want something where the guys can come to. But... I am bad at planning. So I was like, Monica, can you help me? And she said, yeah, Carmen, I got you. I said, okay. I said, I got you on the song. She said, we got so much UGC from um the weekend we went. Why? Wow, you? <laughs> That's what I do. That's what I do, okay? That's what I do, okay? Okay, no, Lisa said, Lisa, 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 stay tuned. You know what? Stay tuned for that. I got you, girl. Lisa, I'm gonna be contacting you. We, I got, I had some thoughts. I didn't think of, I didn't forget about us up here. But I want to do like, I want to do like regular sewing um events, like you know, kind of like a project sew in in Philly. I sure did send. I don't, I don't have no time. I don't want no problems. I already got suspended <laughs> once. I already got suspended once. I don't want no problems. Anyway, so. <laughs> right, Carmen said, turn the page. Move, move it on. Turn the page. Uh, yeah. So yeah, I want to do more. What do you, so you went to a project? So right, what do you think about having like? Do you think it's important to have like local events? And like, how 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 was the setup? Can you describe that? Because I have been talking and talked about doing like a a local like artisan. I've been part of an artisan guild with that, and this is why I told you I'm obsessed with the aunties. And this is where I was doing a reusable pad project. But I want to do like like stuff that I make all the time. Reusable pads are great for like you know charity and shit. But sometimes I just want to make a goddamn dress. I just want to make a dress or a pair of pants or some clothes. It was 
essentially a free sew. So you brought your projects, your whips, whatever it is that you wanted to work on. You brought your sewing machine and you just worked on what you wanted to work on. We talked, we chatted, we talked sewing, we talked life, we talked everything. And we broke for lunch. Um, oh, so how long were you there? How long was it? You know what? I don't. It was like all day from like nine to five. It was like quite a few hours. I think for the first one, I want to like run an Airbnb and invite like, you know, well, it wouldn't be like invite. It would be like, well, whoever RSVP, you know, first. But there were tables all throughout the room. There were um, extension cords. There was a table where you could uh, press and an iron. There was a cutting table. And then we had a fabric and pattern exchange. So if you had fabric and patterns that you weren't going to use, that you wanted to get rid of, you could bring it. And it was put on a table. And then everyone could go up and pick the patterns and the fabric that they wanted and swap and do whatever it was that you wanted to with with your stuff. Um, so I thought that was really, really nice. Okay, I like that idea. How many people were there? Oh, there were a lot. Uh, there, okay. I thought there were a lot, but Monica and everyone else was like, oh, it's empty. Usually it's jam-packed. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and fourteen. Like eighteen? Eighteen of us? Eighteen. Oh, 20. that's a decent number. Um, bird, I'm talking about a regular degla schmegla um uh weekend. I ain't talking about a retreat. Which bird is in here and we got a group chat going at I'm about to leave. I'm about to leave the group chat, y'all. I'm about to because Monica started a group chat after the retreat. It was cute at first. But the conversation is still going. It's still going. I'm about to leave. I'm about to exit the group chat. Like, okay, y'all. It was nice talking to y'all. I'm trying to figure out how to gracefully leave. But Bird in there talking about sound. I think we should do another retreat in September. Bird, are you going to plan another retreat in September? Are you going to plan another retreat in September? Listen. I'm about to leave that chat. That chat about to be what minus Carmen. Okay? I, I don't, cause I don't like group text messages. I, I don't know if I ever told y'all that. I don't like group text messages. I can't stand it. Like that's like one of my biggest pet peeves. And especially if it's an Android. Androids really fuck up a group chat, right? I will, let me tell you, I was in, it actually of all, of all things, I was in a group chat for an artisan group. And I don't even know how these people got my number, but they got the artisan group that I was part, to, part of. Let me tell you what I had to do because Oh no, I muted it and I still get the notifications. I don't know how that mute on um Instagram work because I still be getting the notification. So anyway, it was an art. So the artisan group that I'm part of, they somebody got my number and they would just they just be texting all day. You know what I did? Because it's an Android and I can't, if it was all iPhones, I could leave the conversation, which I have done. Which I have done. Let me tell you what I did. Terrence, you waiting for it? Wait for it. It was about it was about 30 people in this in this group chat. 30 people. So you can imagine. You can imagine. Right? Mute and all. My that shit was still going on. I blocked all 30 of them. Block because what would happen is the 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 messages, even if what even if it was I just blocked one person, it would just come, it would still come through for the person next person. Block all I said, you know what? F this. I blocked all 30 of them people in that group. So listen, if they try to contact me, I'm sorry to that man or that woman. I'm sorry. All 30 of y'all got blocked. <coughs> All 30. I can't stand group text messages. Like, let's have an individual conversation. Leave me off the group text. I'm just saying. God bless you all. A mess. A mess. I blocked 30. I ain't never blocked 30 people so fast in my life, but they all got blocked. All 30. Then one Carmen, I've been trying to get his contact me. Who are oh really who? Who what's your number? Oh, I unblock you. But if you leave, if you send one more message in that group chat, <laughs> I block you again. I block you again. I sure will. 
a mess. So I love y'all, and I'll see y'all next year. Next year's retreat. That's how I feel. But uh, yeah, I'm about to lead a conversation. I'm about to lead it. I'm about to add to the conversation. Is Bert, it really mess? Party. Bird just wants to party. Bird likes to. I can tell. Bird is a social ah, buddy. Bird's trying to get. Bird's trying to ch- convince me. I don't know if it will dwindle, Bird. I don't know. That's okay. It don't have to dwindle. It don't have to dwindle for me to leave. With Bird in the group, it's not going to dwindle. With Bird in the group, it's not going to dwindle. Bird, why you ain't going to DC Fry Tales? Bird, you are what? Bird, that's a lie. That is a lie. Bird, you are not an introvert. Did you just see that? Bird said she an introvert. I don't know if I believe that. Oh, Bird, why are you lying to these people today? I don't know if I believe that. Bird, the introvert, giving speeches at the retreat at the Mexican restaurant. That bird. Child, Bird. The, right, right. Bird in here lying, y'all. Bird in here lying, y'all. Not on the Lord's Day. Not on the Lord's Day. Not on the Lord's Tuesday, you lying. I've run out of patience for people at 8.30 p.m. Oh, Lord. <laughs> you run out of patience, Bird. Bird, you did an exceptional job on the interview with Lisa the other day. I just wanted to let you know you and Molly did a great job. I enjoyed it. Very good interviewer. Good job. Thoroughly enjoyed it. All right. So... No, yeah, Lisa's cool. Lisa's real cool. All right, Terrence, where are we? I'm on my second strap. I'm putting the sides together. So I've done the shoulder seams and I'm stitching the sides. I haven't started my straps yet. Have you done your sides and shoulders? I haven't. I just wanted to work on these long ass straps, which are super long. They're about... I thought thought you were ahead of me. I mean, I did... I didn't... I Because I didn't know if I wanted to surge the sides first, like uh, Mimi does in her video. Uh, but the, the front and the back are a symbol. I just haven't searched it. That's all. Um, yeah. But I guess I'll do that now. Why not? <laughs> Why not? All right, so I'm about to put the fronts and the backs and the sides, do si together. All right, so we're going to leave it opening. Is anybody else out there? Uh, hold on, we got a lot of things. But uh, we love, love, But when Carmen didn't see me wear headphones at the retreat, it's... Oh, you know what I did? I did listen to see you watching your crime or listening to your crime stuff. I did, Bird. I noticed that. I did. You right, girl. Bird said I was ignoring them people. Trust and believe. I, I was ignoring them. <laughs> Bird, Bird, and, uh, Bird said, you and Darius can host the next retreat. How about that? If you don't leave that boy alone, Bird said he wants, she wants grandkids. What about that? Don't you understand? You cannot reproduce. You cannot give her grandchildren. 
<laughs> Unless you give it with Nia, and that's not gonna happen. Unless you want to volunteer your sperm for Nia. Listen, there are ways. Lord, you know I was gonna. Um, the only time I considered like having a kid with somebody was actually one of my gay BFFs because he was like, Yo. be Carmen." You said what happened? You went to my surrogate. Would I be a surrogate? My surrogate. No, absolutely not. No, no. Those days are those that that ship has sailed. But I have considered it, and I did consider it in the past. <laughs> but then he was like, "Yeah, you know, me and my husband, we, you know, we watch." I was like, "Wait, I gotta give up. I, I, I can't see my kid." Like he went, know that, like that. That's still gonna be my. So yeah, um, I was like, "No, this isn't. This arrangement isn't gonna work." All right, so are we like keeping the right open or the left? It's the right. The, so we're closing up the left, right? Okay. Have you been to Spring Lake? No, I've never been to Spring Lake. Where's Spring Lake? Harvey Cedars is really nice. I've never been there. Oh, y'all are talking amongst each other. Okay. Burr, Auntie Kara said, hey. Burr, so if you're an introvert, why you want another retreat so fast? You ain't peopled out. Why you want to retreat so fat bad, uh, so fast again? He said September. September is tomorrow. September is tomorrow. <laughs> Bring that Ella, bring, hi, Lynn. <laughs> bring that weekend to LA. Say hey, Lynn. Say hey, everybody. Say hey, Lynn. All right. You know what? I love LA. Terrence, are you still going to LA this summer? You know I want to. I mean, I don't know this summer, but it's on my list. It is definitely on my list do you have any friends out like any like you know friends out there i had a boy toy but now he has a girlfriend oh. <laughs> so that that's over yo are you serious yes Oh, oh my God, Bella Noche! Yes, we got you know, Lynn. Bella Noche is closed down. They closed down Bella Noche, Lynn. If you can't go to Bella Noche, where can you go? Bella Noche is closed. Somebody, uh, Key, Key told me they closed. They had their last party the other week. If you can't go to Bella Noche, y'all, where can you go? <laughs> Oh my God, Lynn! We will be making Lynn. Me and Shishi will be making Lynn's top on Friday. Super excited about that! Yes, Lynn, we will be making her top for. We are kicking off uh, and two week with Lynn's top. I am super excited about that. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm in stitches. Terrence, where you go? Oh my God, y'all! When he goes off into the night. When he goes off into the night, be worried. Be worried. Okay. Ew. It's oh, let me see. Oh! Yeah. Yeah. I told you I thought you would like that better. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because it, it had, it's a moment. It's and it sweeps the floor, right? Yes. Yeah, I love a good sweep. I love a good sweep. With the leg. Yeah. yeah. Oh, here he go. Here he go. Okay. Here he go. Okay. Well. Okay. So would you make it now that now that you found your length? Because you know the length was a, a little bit of a you know sticky point. It's a little bit of sticky point. Would you, do you feel like, as of now, do you feel like you would make it again? Mm. 
minus the cuffs my like you just had to find your thing your your hack this dress is hackable i think this dress is is it's what or, i think this dress is a is great. I think it's a great statement piece for someone who loves a wrap dress. <laughs> DVF, he said he won't scandalize your name, girl. He said, you know what? He said he'll make this for his funeral dress. Like if you got to attend the funeral. I, I love it. Listen. Y'all see what she does? She wanted me to keep it cute, and I'm trying to keep it cute. <laughs> Everybody needed a funeral dress. I'm trying to keep it cute. Keep it cute. Hold on. You are talking that pattern out of the band with the new look pattern. What's that? You know what? You know what? This is a different platform. This is a different night. <laughs> <laughs> I have nothing but good things to say about this pattern. Tara said he know where he get. He, Tara said he know where his checks come from. Okay. He said he know where his checks come from. He said you won't have DVF coming. This Carmen, how did you get him to make this dress again? You know my sales skills. My sales skills. You know. No. I might be the reason what? I said I was going to make this dress again was because I thought it was going to be on TikTok. I wasn't aware that it was going to be on YouTube. If I had known it was going to be on YouTube and I wouldn't be receiving galaxies and castles, I would have been Yes. I there you go. I thought we were gonna have a repeat of of last night where I got seven galaxies. If you can't go to Bella Noche, where can you go? Right. The only reason I said yes. Oh, excuse me. I thought he was coming on here for good company and good a good discussion and good chat. I mean yeah. that too. That too, but I really wanted to get I thought we were I thought we were having a great conversation. Last night? Or today? To, right now. I think this is a great conversation. This is a really great conversation. Now that I'm in it, I'm glad I'm here. I'm just saying, to be honest, my true intentions were for the galaxies. Mm, mm -mm. Y'all see how it does me? This is going to be cute. Oh, yes. But now that we're here, it's well, quite thank enjoyable. You for but Thank you, Bird. There you go. Bird just sent you a galaxy. There you go. <laughs> Thank you. There you go. There you go. I roll emoji. You know what, Miss Carol? Can someone mute her, please? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Well, you were on live a lot today, so you had ample time. You were on live with Grace twice. You were I... on live by yourself once. So you were on TikTok live three times today. You ain't I... TikTok out. I was on TikTok a lot today, making other people money. Oh, here he go. And I know Grace is very appreciative of that. Yes. But you were on live this morning, too. Let's not forget, you were on live, too. Making everyone money. You're welcome. Grace said she's going to look into an affiliate program for her business so i'm very I mean, excited because i love it grace but you can start with tiktok shop putting some more of your fabrics on tiktok shop girl gonna do it through shopify and shopify collabs i'm on shopify too girl you could do it through uh shopify collabs too i'm on that too even though i don't i haven't been finding you know why i did it on shopify collabs because i wanted to be an affiliate for who was i looking for to do an affiliate oh pop sewing they ended their, uh, I was interested in doing those bags, but they ended their affiliate program. A lot of them have ended their affiliate program, and now they're on TikTok shop. Okay. 
but I still make quite a bit of money through um, Shopify collabs. I'm sure you do. Huh? I said I'm sure you do. <laughs> Here she go. Here she go. No flex zone. No, no flex. Saying I'm just saying it's something to not a not the cash emoji, not the unicorn emoji. <laughs> there go all your gifts. Not the just say thank you. I'm just saying when I log on to the Tiki Talk, y'all better really send those for real. So Tony Smith, I want a real galaxy. Miss Carol, don't be sending a castle and a unicorn if you're not really gonna send a castle and a unicorn. That's all here, I'm saying. Here he go. Here he go. Look at yeah, send a gift. Y'all can't actually send me gifts. Y'all can send me gifts. I have super chat, so if you guys want to send me a super chat, just click on the comment section and send me a little gift. That would be so clutch. In lieu of sending me a galaxy, you can send Carmen five dollars because. Thank you. Who want to send me five dollars? There you go. You can just click that heart next to the comment and send me five dollars. It is the equivalent to a galaxy. Is, it, is that how much a galaxy is worth? Galaxy is five dollars. You get five five dollars for every galaxy. Yeah. Oh, I need to be pushing galaxies more. Okay. I mean, I tried to tell you that, but you know. Really I don't listen. I don't be here. I don't be hearing about all that. Even though, listen, I looked. I finally cashed out. I did not mean to cash out. It was a mistake. And baby, that when that thing hit my account, I said, "Oh, oh, right." Oh. right. Listen, the, the money from the battle, the money since the battle is hitting the account tomorrow, and I am quite pleased. Baby. Quite pleased. When that thing hit your account, it feel good. I ain't gonna even hold y'all. It feel it feel a little good. I got a little tinkle in my in, in my in my cootie cat. I was like, oh, that felt good. I was like, I might on the um Miami Fractals after all. If I can find a I, decent flight. If I can find a decent flight after that Bowen shenanigans. A mess. Bowen? Bowen? I need y'all to get it together, Bowen. I need Bowen to get it together. Okay? Y'all always want to talk about spirit. Spirit don't never have nobody getting sucked out the window like Southwest. Spirit don't never have nobody. Y'all always talking shit about Frontier and Spirit. Spirit don't got them Boeing issues. Them Boeing 737 issues. Here she go. Thank you. Here she go. How, now, how did Southwest get involved? Because you said, you, you're the one that always used to bring it up. Like, yeah, there was that one time. <laughs> I'm just saying, that's why I won't sit by the window. Because there's no way in Heck, I'm getting sucked out of the window. No way in hell. Give me the... You can give me the middle seat. That is fine. I, everyone, I want the window. I want the window. Absolutely not. I am... No. Nope. Nope. So, you like the middle seat? I see Carol. Send me a gift. Put that heart and send me some coin. Thank you. I don't know. I flew spirit and I really did not think it was bad at all. I really didn't think it was bad. I like spirit. Atlanta, hold on. Was it Delta that had the issue? It was United, I thought. But Delta uses Boeing too. And Delta is hubbed in, in Atlanta. But Atlanta has a lot of um listen, they got a lot of they can I always say frontier or spirit to Atlanta, so y'all are going to Atlanta Frocktails. Are you gonna drive? Okay. That might be that might be your best bet. All right, so
Not it's the church service that keeps collecting. Not when you know how to travel. When you travel like me, I got my spirit bag. Where my spirit bag? I got my spirit bag right here. I don't pay unless it's like a trip, like a retreat or something. I'm in and out. And if I want to buy some fabric when I get there, best believe I'm wearing it on my way out. I don't have them type of issues, okay? <laughs> okay, I, I'm wearing it on the way out. I don't have them type of things. I play wearing your fabric. <laughs> I sure do. I sure do. I, I that's why if you're if you're a sewist, do you not know how to drape? I wear my fabric on that plane. I'm making a whole entire drape garments and no apologies for it. Okay. That says she draped herself in fabric. I sure did. Tied around her waist. I sure did. I made I would you would have thought I went to the motherfucking Oscars. You would have thought I was at the Met Gala. I sure did. And did. And did. Say something. I did. Sure did. Oh my God. I sure did. Can you imagine getting on your plane and there's some woman draped in the fabric? <laughs> it was it was warm. It was a cold winter night. <laughs> it was a cold winter night. It was a cold winter night. I sure did. That's fabric. She said she went to the bathroom and shoved fabric everywhere. <laughs> I sure did. I sure did. You know what? Next time, that's going to be my commercial. Next time, that's going to be my commercial. Ooh. I sure did. And did. Lord Jesus, honey child. Help her. Help I'm her. just saying. I'm just saying. I was th I sure am. And I'm real. And I'm thinking real life right now. I'm thinking real life. So am I. My thickness now matches the thickness that that fabric gave me. I sure did. Hey, Lene, girl. Hey. Could take note. The rest of y'all can take note. Just say it. Just say it. Thank you. Don't play with her. Good night. Thank you for my gift. Yay. Yeah, that is exactly what I did. Yeah. <laughs> y'all know the, the biggest way to piss tears off. Give me a gift. Piss tears off tonight, y'all. Piss tears ass off tonight. Who else want to piss tears off? Thank you. Is that when you put the fabric in your unfinished coat? Now, now cake. Now cake. Now you gotta now you wanna bring up old shit. Thank you, <laughs> Thank you Julian. <laughs> Thank you. Let's piss tears off tonight. <laughs> Let's see if I put it up there. Thank you, Julian. Oh my God. Thank y'all so much. Thank you so much. Oh, I feel the love. I feel the love. I feel the love. Okay. Oh, that was hilarious. Oh, damn. <laughs> Woo! Oh my God. 
Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my goodness. I can't stop. Oh my God, my stomach really hurt. You ever laugh so hard, your stomach hurt? Oh my God, that's where I'm at right now. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. His face is. Y'all know he don't like when you ever. <laughs> take your YouTube journey seriously now? Terrence! <laughs> oh my God. Thank you. So happy for you. Fix your face! So happy for you. <laughs> Terrence, you've been making us a lot of money today. Thank you. See that right there? Let me tell y'all, that right there is going to buy me a spirit flight. I'm really thinking about going to Miami. Congrats. Thank you, Terrence. Listen, Terrence said he's going to be good. Terrence, if TikTok get banned, you said you're still going to be all right, though, right? Yep. <laughs> <clears throat> that Brazilian Brazil! Brazil! <laughs> but no but Michael Chicago Frogtails. But my girl is selling her gorgeous bags to go to Frogtails, okay? Oh. Oh. This is so cute. Oh. All right. So this is a little, it's a little snug. It's a little snug. Ooh. I know Kara gonna be like, you all fall by said Jasmine. Girl, leave me alone. 
Okay. Oh, uh, okay. Oh. Oh my God. Oh my God. Thank y'all all for your gifts. Okay, the tatas are gonna be. I like this. I like this. Hold on. I'm a little. Oh, the tatas gonna be out. Oh, but it's gonna be short and cute. Yes, everybody send Karen to Castle, so he can curse y'all out. He ain't gonna curse me out. He ain't gonna curse me out. This that was fun. That was fun. Thank y'all. Thank y'all for y'all gifts. Oh my god, that is funny. Terrence, are you okay? This DVF wrap dress is iconic. It is. <laughs> and you don't I like my dress? Oh, is this gonna be short in the back? Oh, the booty is bootying. Iconic. The booty is booty in, okay? Oh, this going to be cute. Not, not him trying to deflect. Not you trying to deflect. That why we're here, the DVF rap drive. <laughs> <laughs> not you trying to deflect, beloved. Not you trying to, y'all, he is really trying to deflect. Thank you, D. Thank you. He is really trying to deflect, y'all. Oh, my God. He is... He's gonna go get y'all, y'all. I'm never gonna live this down, but it was all worth it. It was all worth it. I just want all y'all to acknowledge that I have made you money today. <laughs> yeah, I want oh my God. that I made you money all week. Great. I want you to acknowledge that I made you a shit ton of money. Carmen, like you to acknowledge that I made you money today. That's, we just the the Terrence Williams impact, the Terrence Williams effect, please. Okay, okay. The Terrence Williams effect is a real thing. It's like the Keith Lee effect almost, but not quite. <clears throat> you got you almost got as much influence as, as Keith Lee. Thank you, thank you. There you go. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Is that all you wanted, sir? Is that all I needed to do? Miss Carol made more in the bag with me on live than she ever made in her whole life. Getting on live. You're welcome. Listen, okay. <clears throat> okay, well, all right. Well, there you go. You got your credit. Thank you. There you go. Somebody Lord. Lord, that was funny. That was funny, y'all. Who? Thank you. Thank y'all. Um. <laughs> Thank you, Lynn. Thank you, Lynn. Thank you, Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> yes! Come on. Uh-huh. I see you. Come on. He just wanted me to slut so bad. 
I don't need your validation tonight. <laughs> I'm over him. Oh my God. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my God. Y'all have made my night. I just want y'all to know y'all have made my night. Listen. Secretly, I ain't give him no validation the other day. I wasn't paying him no fucking mind. But the rest of y'all, the rest of y'all were entertaining his bullshit the other day. You can't do that. You can't do that. Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. Thank y'all so much. Parents, are you going to answer Julian's question? When one wins, we all win. So... When <laughs> Wins, we all win. So, <laughs> oh my gosh, oh my goodness, Terrence, are you going to answer Julian's question? Who's Julian? <laughs> oh, here you go. Don't do that. Don't do that. Julian, Julian, who taught you how to do buttonholes? The Julian who gave one ninety nine. <laughs> Julian who gave one ninety nine. Yes. Oh my gosh. Oh, Julian A is not pleased with you. He is not pleased with you. Don't see. You upset, Julian. We don't need we don't need no infighting, okay? Say sorry, Terrence. Say sorry. Julian, he don't mean it. He just upset. You know how he get when other people get gifts. <laughs> Say sorry, Terrence. Julian, I think this dress is iconic. This is the iconic. Can you answer honestly? Do you like it better? I haven't finished it yet, so I don't know. Oh, Lord. Here you go. Now, you don't hear for real? Do I want to? He called you Miss Roper. Oh, burn. Actually, I like Miss Roper style. <laughs> he said, he called you Miss Roper. Burn. Lord, okay. Lord, I can't. I can't. When the boys are fighting, the boys are fighting. All right. <laughs> Lord, hi, Jennifer. I can't wait to listen to your episode on the Black Woman on Stitch Please podcast. Lord, the boys are fighting. The girls are fighting. The girls are fighting. I need y'all to get it together in time for act two. We do listen. Did you see Beyonce? You know what? I should have did a real like a real reaction video to her dropping Texas Hold'em. Did you see her doing all them reaction videos? The boy, the girls are fighting. You know what? We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna piece all this up by Sunday. By Sunday, we're gonna piece all this up. Cause we, listen, when we when we celebrate Beyonce, we don't play that. We don't play that. Okay. Here come Brooklyn Timmy with the dramatics. All right. So I'm adding the straps on. Adding the straps to it.
because they are cute. Okay. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Um, Terrence, what machine are you using today? I am using my Burnett B79 as usual. My baby. See it? Did you talk to Burnett? Are they pleased with your performance? Carmen, you would be asking too many questions. <laughs> no, I mean, in performance in terms of how often they be used, like you use your machine. Do they love oh. like seeing you use it all the time? Because you use the shit all the time. That's what I'm saying. Oh, Carmen, no. <laughs> you said no, they don't like seeing you use it all the time? Carmen, I have not submitted any of my content for them. Oh, yet. sorry, sorry, yes. sorry. I thought you showing up on live using the shit. Kelly, that's content. My bad. Jesus. Well, well, well. Sorry, Burnett. Uh, <coughs> Sorry. God. I thought I was being helpful. My bad. I should I, I should always look up at your face. <laughs> is showing the uh the Vogue rat dress. Oh, uh, you know what? Let's uh let's take a little commercial break. Hold on. And we're back. And we're back. <laughs> if that's what we're sewing. Yeah. Yeah. We're sewing the Vogue uh V <laughs> the V20 to 2000 Vogue uh wrap dress. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Y'all like that little commercial break. Thank you. Why I got cursed out in the background. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being here with us. Uh, we're back. We're back for part two. All right. You know, sometimes you just have to take a little pause. You have to take a little pause, take a little break. That's okay. All right. Well. So we have one strap in. We have one strap in. How are you attaching? Where are you attaching your straps? Because when I attached my straps yesterday, they seemed low. Um, you want to attach it on a seam line, so there is a notch here to indicate where you're supposed to attach it up here. So it's like maybe two inches above the waistline, uh, waist seam. Yeah. So it, and then you're supposed to like crack it. So did you clip into your cur into those curves? All right, so there's two places where you're, you're supposed to do a stay stitch around that like little zigzag part of the strap, and then you're oh. supposed to... Yes. Yeah. Oh, wow. That was, that was a very exciting night. That was very exciting. <laughs> 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 Look. 
for winding down. <laughs> We're winding down, folks. I'm just here so I don't get fired. I'm just here so I don't get fired. <laughs> I'm just going to do a, um, so what I'm going to do, I'm not going to do the facing, but I'm going to add the collar. Um, and I'm going to baste in the sleeve so you guys can get a general idea. I'm not going to do the cuffs on live because I'm sure Terrence will be done a lot sooner than me. So, but I'll give you enough to give you the general feel of how things will look. But so far, so good. So far, so good. Um, Thank you, Diane. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate it. Mm, I appreciate every single one of you for being here, for entertaining our shenanigans. <clears throat> I promise we do enjoy each other and enjoy each other's company. Um, Terrence is, I think he's happy for us when we get, uh, get I, I think he's just playing. I don't know though. I can't, I can't call it for it. <laughs> Um, I think he is, you know, genuinely happy for us when we get gifts, but I can't, I don't, I'm, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I am for the okay. most, for the most, <laughs> don't say <laughs> I just, I don't know. I'm just making a note. Making a note. Well, I appreciate the gifts, nonetheless, because because this thank attitude is a little too real to tell. Listen, we I'm don't just, know. $70, Renee. I'm just saying. We, listen, we're going to pay it forward, though. You know, I'm going I'm to give me an extra, <laughs> I'm going to give me a little wallet or something. I'm going to get something extra, okay? Thank you all for the gifts. I'll just say it, Renee. That's a castle. <laughs> <laughs> Seventy dollars is part part of the way to a cast over day. I'm just saying. Lord Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm just going to base together my sleeves again. <laughs> I'm gonna do my collar, do my sleeves, and wherever Terrence is, I'll keep working on it wherever he is. I attach my straps. I mean, you're still constructing your straps, right? No, they're done. Oh, well then, shit. Let me hurry up. Hemming my edges and then attaching the straps. Well, you just might as well just do all the hemming then, while I, you know, base the rest together. Well, the M M. So I anticipate we should be off of here around 11 10. 11 10 is my prediction. Uh, since Terrence wants to be Speedy Gonzalez today. Listen. That's fine. <laughs> This dress has been an amazing experience, and I just want to quickly finish it so I can wear it. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Well, let's, you know, not stand in the way of progress. But don't feel rushed. Don't feel rushed. No, no, no. I am, I want to, I want to. You know, get you out of here as soon as as soon as possible, so you don't feel like you're being held hostage. I never feel like I'm being held hostage with you. Oh, look at that! Look at that! Look at the love. We love the love. Okay. He don't feel hostage with me. He don't feel like he's being held hostage with me. I love to hear it. I love to see it. Oh, 
Okay. Did you clip? Did you clip the um the collar from when you did it? No. No, I didn't feel I needed to. How did you make that determination? I laid the collar down and it laid flat. It bended with the shape of the collar. It wasn't like a drastic, like, curve. Okay. So I, with my fabric, maybe you need to with the knit, but with the visco shaft, it just laid all together really nicely. Okay. Now I actually have interface on it, so. And I didn't, yeah, well, I did interface it also. But the part that I you were putting down, the interfacing side is up. Yeah. Okay. Are you clipping? You said what? You clipping yours? Yeah, I am. I am. Because even I if, if I mess up, you said what? Part. The collar was my favorite part. <laughs> what you mean? Of the whole dress, the collar was my favorite part. <laughs> really? Yeah. <clears throat> Yes, he's being delightful for now. I really liked the collar. I'm just saying. I didn't. I I can't tell what you liked and what you didn't like. To be honest. I liked everything about the dress. Oh, here we go. Here we go with the lies and the fallacies. Listen. Did. Okay. Well. I am delightful. I am delightful. What do you mean? You something, that's for sure. <laughs> you something, that's for sure. Um, I'm a little worried about this stretch. Night D, thank you. You be safe too. I think I'm about to recut this collar. I'm gonna have to recut this collar. I um it's just not really panning out the way that I think it should, and it's okay. I got extra fabric. Photo shoot with the photographer. 
Good night, D. Oh, look, D saying bye to D. I know. I already said good night. <laughs> no, I said D. This you see, it's two D's in here. I, I already said good night. <laughs> no, no, I was saying D. One D one said goodbye to D two. Yeah, we had uh -oh. nothing to do with you. All right, y'all. So I am clipping the collar. Is the interface side supposed to go up or down? Up. Up, like up. Or, like, is it touching the? What is it touching? It's supposed to be. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be facing you. Pin collar to neck edge, interface side up. Placing small dots at shoulder seams, clipping, je clipping dress where necessary, based. Okay. All right, well. All right, y'all. Interface side up. What does that even mean? Oh, gosh. Interface side up. Okay, my sleeves are hemmed. Everything but the bottom. I'm going to attach my straps. Done. Okay. Well... Damn, it's still kind of. It's not pointing out the way I want it to, even with my nails. All right, let's press her down. They, they want you to top stitch, but I don't like top stitching. I probably should have understitched it a little bit, but we're going to just make it do what it do. We're going to make it do what it do. Uh, but I don't know where my clip. I need a pro points turner. I ha Let me tell you. Lynn, I got this point. I got this turner I got from uh, Cocktails. Where can I get it? Is it in your Amazon store? Here you go. Here y'all go. Um, Auntie Carol gave me that to use too. I'm about to burn my face. I'm about to burn my face. Let me get that out my way, out the way. Hold on. Mm. I do have this. I have this. Do I know where my seam gauge is? Admittedly, no, but I do have this. Listen, Lynn, I need all your tools, girl. I need all your tools. All right. Oh, let me now check your is that is that what that was? That fancy thing that you posted earlier? That wasn't a turner. Let me check your stories. Whatever you posted earlier, that thing looked 
fancy. I will come. I will certainly come. I love LA. I will take you up on that offer. It's been a couple. It's been a. It's been a while. I eat good in LA as a vegan. I eat really good in LA, so I need to make a trip because it's all. It's always about the food to me. For me, LA doesn't not do me wrong. Okay, I love to eat. All right, so I'm just going to baste everything else together really quickly. I'm just going to do a quick straight stitch. And that includes for my sleeve. Yeah, I know, Lynn. Listen, last time I went to LA, I ate so good. So good. All right, so we're just basting the collar on. I'm gonna baste the sleeves in and I'll be done. Done, 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 done. done. <laughs> Okay. What are you so what are your thoughts without the facing, Terrence? I think it's fine. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing? I wasn't trying to be I wasn't I was being dead serious. Bye, Grace. Thanks for coming. Good night, Grace. All right, y'all. So I'm gonna base this in, base the sleeves in, and I am I'll be ready to try it on for you all. I'll do the finishing later, but I can already tell I love it. I can already tell I love it. This was a good night. Tonight was a good night. Okay. <laughs> we had a good time. I'm so glad we had this time together. <laughs> I don't know what's so funny. I don't think nothing funny. Bye, Grace. Thanks for coming. Thanks for making Terrence. Thanks for making um, Terrence make you money. So y'all, on this, I did use knit interface, just FYI. I did, I did, I did. All right. All right. Just baste it on the collar, just baste, just a baste. I'll come back in and stitch it correctly later. All right, and we're gonna baste in the sleeve. Ooh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that look good when the basting stitch is giving. <laughs> okay, basting stitch. All right, so let's base together these sleeves. We're gonna base together the sleeves, insert the sleeves, and get you out of here. <laughs> Good night, Dee. Thanks for coming. 
I mean, the final outcome is only going to be 15 minutes if you wanted to stick around. Well, the final outcome for tonight. Literally basting it together. No real stitches. And cuffs. It's up to you, though. You can always catch the replay. That's the beautiful thing about YouTube. So we're going to base together the sleeves. Base them in. Give me 10 minutes. Give me 10 minutes, folks. Hmm. Oh. You know what? I'm bad about like I listen. I most of the time when I'm on in people's lives, I be my phone be to the. I don't hear the people leave until y'all say good night or somebody on the screen says good night. I be half sleep. All right, so we basted one sleeve. Okay. And we're about to base the other sleeve in. Well, down the side, okay. All right, boom, 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 boom. Look who stepped in the room. Cute. This is going to be cute. Yay! Where did you get your denim from, Lynn? Okay. I need to, I'm probably end up I'm gonna end up using regular denim, like regular blue denim. Because I the denim and Joanne, I don't know. I might or I might get it from Joanne. Who knows? It went back up. It's super expensive again. It is no longer on sale. All right. Um, let's baste in these sleeves. The good thing about a knit, though, I will pop in a, a knit sleeve and with no no problem. <laughs> I can't wait to see it. Ha Lynn, are you going to hack your pattern at all? Oh, okay. Lynn, Julian Pacific Blue is here in LA. Oh, y'all got all the things. <laughs> I keep forgetting. You have a plethora of fabric stores. Julian was telling me it's an adaptive design. I didn't realize it was an adaptive design. I think that is so cool. Are we just going to stitch these in really quickly? All right. Oh, Terrence, he left the screen. Okay. So I just have to put in, like, pop in my two sleeves really quickly. Again, I'm just basting them in. Just the base. Hopefully they'll go in a lot easier than the other one. Lord, Jesus Christ. Base and base. Base and base. Yeah, I much prefer like knit sleeves. <laughs> Does not put me through the ringer. All right, let me take the tray off. 
Let me take the tray off because she likes to tussle. <laughs> oh, okay. You said you don't agree with the instruction. Most of us don't. Most of us don't. <laughs> You're not alone, Lynn. You're not alone, girl. Lynn, is your soul long up? Because listen, if your soul long's up, I need to watch it in advance. I I barely pay attention to the directions, admittedly. <laughs> I need your instructions for Friday. I need I need your so long by Friday. Is it gonna be up? Well, I need it by Thursday so I can watch it while I cut it out. I need them instructions. So this is it. This is it. Yes, go T. Go T, go T, go T. Shake a little booty. Shake go T. Shake booty. Okay. That look and with a headband. Are you gonna make a headband to go with it? Oh, Since no. it's knit. You said what? Um. This is more of like a woven that has a little more stretch to it. We love a little. Ch we love a little uh, chesticles. We love the chesticles. Thank you. We love the little. Ch we love the chesticles. Okay. Let the hem the bottom, but aside from that. Okay. Come on, chesticles. Oh, you see Carol comment? Now let me look. Look at the child. I can't block her. I can't block her. <laughs> I feel like I like the other one, but okay, Terrence, how do you feel about it compared to the first one? Can you tell? Can you be honest? Thank you. Um, is it about the same? If it's the same, you can say that too. No. Um, uh, okay, maybe I was a little over dramatic. <laughs> maybe, maybe, <laughs> maybe, <laughs> maybe, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> You saw Lynn's comment. Lynn said, Terrence, I love the drape. I'm going to watch on Friday. Oh, you she's going to watch on Friday. See, Lynn loves the drape. Julie, Julie, no sleeves. Yeah, no sleeves. What, what is don't? What is don't? What is like, what? I do like the hacks that I made. Okay. Um, I think with this. I think if I take Okay. Let me think. Okay. <laughs> think while I stitch in this last sleeve and then I'm gonna throw this on for the people. I still don't think this one is my style, but I don't think after I put it on yesterday and did the photo shoot, I was like, okay, it's not horrible. Okay. It's not horrible. I think if I changed a few things, adjusted a few things, I could make it work. Do you think it's because of, do you think it's not your style, right? Because this is a very, uh, like you said, like a very classic style, especially when you work in the workforce. You know what I mean? Like, I remember, like, when I was working in corporate, like, rap dresses were my thing. Like, you know what I mean? So do you think it's because of the timing? You know, like, sort of, like, the... Um, I think it's nostalgic. What I've seen in the Facebook groups, it's nostalgic for a lot of people. Yes. Um, and do you think you just don't have that level of connection with the style? Do you think that's what it is? 
I think it's because I I like to be half naked. I like to be out, legs out, booty out. Like I, or if I'm going to be covered up head to toe, I like the dress to be sheer or I like it to be really form fitting and tight. Like I love to be sexy and I do not think the version of the dress that I made is sexy. Even with Alyssa's, it was really, really short. Mm-hmm. The one on Kara, I still felt sexy and pretty. Even with Nikki's, because I made the mistake and had the back out, yep. even had the puffy sleeves and it was really longer, with the back out, I still felt really sexy. In this one, I just didn't feel that. So again, it's not the dress. The dress is fine. The pattern is fine. It's great. It's just me and my personal style. If I don't look like a a $2 whore, I don't want it. (laughs) Okay. Oh, there's that. There's that, people. There's the assessment. Um, Peaches, no, he's not. He added sleeves to his other one. He, If you're on Minerva, he's... Did you post it to Minerva already or no? I haven't posted it to Minerva, no, not yet. Yeah, so yeah, if you post, he will, he will, are you gonna post it on Instagram? Are you going to allow Grace to switch? I am gonna post one picture on Instagram. Or one? Maybe one or two. For the So Your View challenge, I am going to. Monica really appreciates it, because I told her, I said, Taryn, I don't know if we're gonna get it. He said he might give us, a, she was like, okay. <laughs> So yeah, I like yeah, I like this version better. Okay, all right. Well then, we that that progress. I'll give it to everyone. I'll give it. I took Julian's suggestions with the different fabric and adjusting the straps, and I took feedback. Like, I like it better now. He's still not making it again. So maybe he'll give away. <laughs> if anybody out there wears a twelve, so you can send that twelve to Shamik. Send that so she can. Make- <laughs> If you ain't gonna use it, send it to somebody that will. And she <laughs> won the uh, she won the prize the other day. She wears, I think she wears a twelve. Send that shit to her so she can make it. I might make it again. Oh, now, now y'all see that? Y'all see that? He tackled all that, and then I'm like, oh well, give it away, Terrence. Um, oh, I might, I might, I might make it again. I might make it again. I might make it again. I might now. He might make it again. Oh, you know who who I am again? Oh, he. Ooh, 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 ooh. Julian is not pleased. You heard his feelings. Can you say sorry? <laughs> Shout out to Julian. 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 Sidebar. Julian. You did. You did a tutorial this time for both the top and the bottom. Is that a requirement? Y'all. You did a top for both views. Cause I thought you only had to do one view. Child, we gotta get Julian on the schedule. His know me pad on the schedule. All right, y'all. I'm just basting in this last one, and then I'll try it on, and then we can be out of here. I said, now I said, eleven fifteen. We still are on track to get off of here. He said he did, and Lynn said she did both. Okay, is that a new requirement? Cause I thought y'all only had to do one view, or you did you just want to do both views? Maybe they're just overachievers. You know what? That could be possible. Listen, listen, listen. I'm the, she said I'm the new I'm the new kid on the block. I'm not. I'm not. I'm doing. Listen, I know that's right, Lynn. She said I thought we had to. I, I thought it was just a one view was required. Listen, I appreciate any view, one view if they are similar. Oh, that's what it is. Okay. 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 I got it. I got it. I got it. So if it's like, like, um, like Alyssa did the jumpsuit and the dress. <laughs> 
She said if she knew she ain't had to, trust and believe she wouldn't. Okay. Okay. I get it. Okay. But when I went to look up Duana's sports bra and leggings so long, I didn't see it. I only saw it for the jacket. In her turn. Mm. Okay. Oh, Julian said he's always had to do both. Oh, okay. I get it if it's only, if it looks as, I get it. If it's similar, I get it. Good night, Dory B. Good night, Auntie Dory B. Thank you for coming. Okay. Well, the people will appreciate that you did a sew along for both. Absolutely. I know the people, i.e. me. The people will really appreciate that you, you did a sew along for both. Because I don't read the directions. I'm going to be honest. I don't read the directions. I watched it. So I'm a sew along girly. <laughs> Love along. You said what? Beloved good sew along. I love a good so long. I do. I am people. People is me. Listen, it is no joke. Creating long form content is no joke. Listen, I have. Oh, I'm changing the world. Y'all want me to do a, a video? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm about to try on my dress. Let me find some shoes to throw on with it so I can give you the whole shebang, bang, bang. Shebang, bang, bang. And I will let Terrence get out of here because, baby, Lord knows. I don't want no problems. I don't want no problems. Okay. We're going to get you out of here. I can't stand her. I can't stand her. Oh. She gets on my nerves. About my dusters? Oh, she is cute. Oh! Ah! Don't play with Carl. Don't play with Carl. Don't play with me. Don't play with me. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. These are actually shoes that I got from uh, Frocktails last year that I never wore because they hurt like hell. But that'll be cute for the pictures. Oh, I need to shave my legs. Lord. That print is so pretty. It is so pretty, like me. Lord, she's so pretty. She is gorgeous. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That is it. That is it. That is it. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh. Stunning. She is stunning. Let me see if I can get myself a spotlight. 
Hold on. Let me see. let me see where the settings layout spotlight spotlight me. There I go. There I go. <laughs> Oh my Ooh. God! Oh, she is stunning. <laughs> That's all y'all need to see. I'm all y'all need to see. You know what would be cute if these this had pockets? It is Let the perfect her. length. Let oh. her <laughs> it is perfect. Let her have her moment. Don't play with car. Okay. <laughs> oh. Oh. Hold on. Let me do the Terrence. Let me do the Terrence. Hold on. <laughs> I can't stand you, okay? <laughs> I only turn like that so people can see the garment. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, this is so cute. I cannot wait to finish this. Oh my God. I love it. So I you love it. I love the length. You know I'm tempted to put horse hair in there, but I'm not gonna do it. Oh, All right, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Thanks for rocking it out with me. Do the leg, okay? Wait, 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 wait. Oh, so um, yeah, my my package, my my fabric came, my fabric came, and getting my dusters done. I have 32 to go, so <laughs> I'm gonna be. Pretty busy this week and this weekend getting all 30 done. Um, the fabric has arrived. Lord. All right. I love it. I love the short version. I think it looks stunning. Let me get this back over. Thank y'all so much. So what changes did you make again? You shortened it. You uh, <sighs> the cuffs or are you going to? Oh, yeah, I'm definitely adding the cuffs. I'm, I'm going to take the sleeves and stuff apart. Um, well, I, the sleeves actually are fine. Um, I just might go back in and restitch them. But I just need to add the facing. But I took the dress up 10 inches. 10. 10 inches. Yeah. Um, it is a little short, though. It is, I am going to do a little baby him, but it'll be fine. And, um, yeah, that's it. So I did add the collar this time. You can't really tell because the collar is like... I feel like I should have added interface on both sides of the collar to make it pop a little bit more because you really can't see it. But I did uh, use knit. I used knit interface. Okay. So, but I I, I should have... Auntie Carol, what do you think about adding knit interface to both sides of the collar? Like if I take it apart and just redo the collar, would that help it like sit up more? I did use knit interface, but I just don't feel like it's or is knit interface just gonna lay like this. Carol or Lynn thoughts or Julian. Okay, so yeah, I'm thinking about going in and adding more interface because I I want the collar to be more noticeable, but I love it. I think it is cute. Okay, all right. So I'm I only basted the collar in, so I think I'm gonna redo the collar. Or maybe I can slip it in. Maybe I can slip in a piece of interface. You think that'll work too? Do I got to take it apart or can I slip it in? Uh, I'm going to add the cuffs. I didn't add the cuffs, but that, that still is a plan. But yeah, cuffs. And I'm also going to do cover buttons. I'm going to do cover buttons in this fabric. But it is, this is gorgeous, okay? So next up is I'm going to finish up both. And I do, the last thing I have to make is a shirt. Or maybe a jumpsuit. We're not done. We're not done with the rat dress, y'all. We are not done. But you are going to get with your photographer to at least take pictures of the short and long version of the dress, correct? Yes, Terrence. Or Nerva. Yes. You cannot drop the ball on this, Carmen. First of all, they gave me till April, but then they they the ones that released it early. Minerva is not on Black Folk Time. I'm just saying, I don't want you posting the picture six months from now. Minerva, thank you so much for this opportunity. <laughs> My lord. My lord. Oh. All right, well, I'm not, taking a, I'm not taking this knit collar apart. I'll just redo the collar. I have enough to make a new collar. It's not a big deal. 
But yeah, the collar is, yeah, it's cute. It's cute. It's cute. It's cute. So yeah, I'll just redo the collar. It, it'll take a lot less time to redo it than it will for me to have to, um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not redoing it. So anyway, thanks so much for joining. Thank you, Terrence, so much for joining me and keeping me company. I'm so glad you like this uh, version so much better. And the clavicles and the tit-tides are tit -tying. And thank you all to everybody that gave me gifts. I appreciate you all. And yeah, go grab the pattern. Don't listen to Terrence, y'all. It is I, worth it, Brad. It was great. I, how many times have I said the pattern was great? We don't believe you, but yes, go grab the pattern. The link is in my the link is in the description. I appreciate you all. And I will see you all on Friday on TikTok. Terrence, when's the next time you're gonna be on TikTok? Probably tomorrow. Uh, do you have a time that you want to give people? When I show up. Okay. Well then see you all. Well, I will see you all. We are making Lynn's Know Me Pattern M E2069 on Friday, kicking off at two week to celebrate Country Carter Beyonce's um album. So yeah, that is on Friday at 7 p.m. on TikTok. I will see you all later. And uh thank you, Terrence, again. Thank you, everybody in the audience, and I appreciate you all. And on that note, to all a good night. <laughs>